welcome ladies and gentlemen, Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios as always, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a seamless transition so you can create a seamless loop using HitFilm Pro. So first thing we need to do is, let's go ahead and bring in our footage. It's just a little creek bed. Um, it is, what, 12 seconds long and about 30 FPS, so nothing terribly fancy. It's actually uh, 1920 by 1080. Um, let's go ahead and create our composite shot. Go ahead and name this Creek Loop. We're gonna change this to one full second as opposed to the 30 seconds. And let's go ahead and bring in our footage here. I'm actually gonna mute this because the sound is rather lo loud on this one. Okay, a few things to take note of before you start any of your compositing or edi editing anything. There's a few things that you need to make sure you need to look for while doing some of this stuff. One is the lighting within the scene that you're trying to loop. If the lighting changes, try and cut a specific portion out of, of that lighting out to keep a consistent lighting throughout the entire scene. Or wherever you're going to have your transitions, you're going to see a change in lighting in that scene. Um, the second most important thing is make sure that the video is as stabilized as possible. If there is a little bit of a shutter or a shake, um, you can stabilize that video within HitFilm. I've got a link in the description below on how you can do that, or you can click the card on the screen now. Um, but this video is relatively consistent with light. I had noticed at the very end the light does tend to change up in these trees a little bit, so we're not going to be using the full 12 second clip, um, but the the video itself is very stationary, so we don't have to worry about stabilizing that. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and just click. We're gonna clip the. Let's go to eight seconds, and we're gonna actually just clip the rest of that off because the rest of that video has a little bit of a um, difference in light within the scene. Some of the shadows up on the trees change a little bit. Um, just to keep a consistent light. Okay, so now what we can do is go ahead and highlight your footage. You're going to go up to your control panel or control arrow underneath the, uh, the footage itself. Bring down the transform tab and what we're going to do is we're going to go to the very end of this and we're going to scroll all the way in, zoom in quite a bit. And starting at the back, we're actually going to come back 10 frames. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're actually going to keyframe the opacity at 100%, make sure that that keyframe starts there, and then we're going to end that at the eight second mark and then change that the opacity or the transparency to zero. So it slowly um, fades away in that 10 frame, um, in over a period of 10 frames, it will, it will slowly fade to, to black or to nothing. So now that we've got that, let's go ahead and zoom back out. We're now going to duplicate this. So let's go ahead and control D as it's highlighted. And now that we've got that duplication made, we can drag that to the bottom. Go ahead and move this footage to the end here. We're actually going to move our slider until we get to 10 frames from the end. So if we click 50 and then we push that transition over just like that, what that's going to do is it's going to have that footage start at the very beginning of that transition from when it goes to 100% opacity all the way down to zero. So essentially what you're doing is you're overlapping each section of footage so it actually gives it a nice smooth transition from one clip to the next clip. And that's why it's very important to make sure that you're not getting any shake or any light transitions because you're going to see that when it ends up um, exporting. Okay, so now that we've got the second clip put in, that's why I do the keyframing before I do any duplications. That way, if you're going to be using this clip, you know, 10 or 12 times because you want it to loop for quite a while, then you just have to do all of your keyframes on the first one and then duplicate that as many times as you want. And then you don't have to go in and re keyframe each and every section of footage. So now that we've got from our 10 all the way to the end, let's go ahead and zoom out and we're going to play through, we're not going to play through the whole thing, we're just going to play through this little section here. Yep, there is just a little bit of a blur across this, across this center part of the stream, as you can see, if we play back and forth. That's really not that bad though for so many moving things within the same scene. Um, obviously, the less amount of moving objects that you have within the scene, the better this transition is going to be. And the nice thing it is about doing this kind of um, 
seamless loop or seamless transition, as you will. Um, you can use it with any other composite shots. You can use it with 3D objects. You can use it. The possibilities are endless. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios, as always. And if you guys like what we're doing here with Misfit Studios and Hit Film, please leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button, and we will see you guys next time. Thank you.